Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress. I have a nice one for you today. Have you ever heard of Akiba Rubinstein? Well, if you haven't, then it's about time that you learn about this, this Polish grandmaster who was one of the strongest players at the start of the 20th century. He never played for the World Championship. He was about to in 1914 when he was challenging World Champion Emmanuel Lasker but then plans got disrupted because of the start of the First World War. In 1907, Rubinstein played in the Karlsbad tournament, Karlsbad which is now in the Czech Republic. Things went well for him, he played a good tournament, before the last round he was leading the tournament and only needed a draw in the last round against Heinrich Wolf. The night before the game, Wolf said, I will beat Rubinstein, so that his friend Marocci would still have a chance for first place. But the next day, Wolf was not as brave as the night before, and after around 10 moves, he offered a draw. Rubinstein declined, even though the draw would have brought him tournament victory. Then on the 24th move, Rubinstein had a mating attack. He surely must have seen it, but decided to play another move. Let's look at the game, let's look what happened. White is Heinrich Wolf, black is Akiba Rubinstein. We are in Karlsbad, it's the 17th of September 1907 and it's the 21st round. Wonderful tournaments in those days with 21 rounds. And those tournaments lasted over a month with three days and days that adjourned games were played. Anyway, this is the position after 23 Queen c7, Queen c5 to c7 from Rubenstein and black is better. Black has a better position. It was a French defense the opening and as I said black is much better here. The knight on e5 is good, he probably, Wolf should have played f3, f4 here, but he decided to play the knight to c4, which is a big mistake. And now Robinstein could have started a mating attack with rook h5, which is a very logical move. The queen and the bishop are already looking at the king and he just brings another piece into the attack. Somebody of Rubinstein's strength must have surely seen this. And why is rook h5 so strong? Well there's an immediate mate threat on h2, queen takes h2 would be checkmate, so h3 has to be played and then there is the very elegant move knight g4. Again there's a mate threat on h2 so that knight has to be taken and then there's a force mate, rook h3, not very difficult to find of course, the rook cannot be taken because of the bishop on b7. King g1, queen h2 check, king f1, queen h1 check, and mate on the next move. For example, king e2, queen takes g2, checkmate. And even if you don't find that, as I said, very elegant move, knight g4, there's also another move that leads to win for black after h2, h3, and that is bishop takes f3, because if you take that one, then as rook takes h3, king g1, and even though there's no immediate checkmate this time, black is clearly winning, he can just bring another piece into, it, into the attack with rook d5, and white is not going to survive this. Instead of rook h5 with a mating attack, Rubinstein played bishop a6. And then a number of pieces came off the board. Knight b2, bishop takes, rook takes, rook takes, and knight takes. And then queen c4, attacking the knight twice. So knight e5, queen c7 back. And now Wolf also played his knight back to d3, even though the knight is quite strong on e5. 
A move that makes a lot more sense here is c3, c4 to keep the game going. But Wolf played knight e3, inviting queen c4 again, and there was a repetition of moves. Knight e5, queen c7, knight d3, queen c4, and a draw was agreed. After the game, the audience went up to Rubinstein and said, But Grandmaster, did you not see you could have easily won with rook h5? It was so simple. Rubinstein answered, Of course I saw it, but I only needed a draw. So why did you not accept a draw offer early in the game? Rubinstein said, Against Wolf, I make a draw when I want it, not when he does. A very nice quote from Akiba Rubinstein, who won the tournament and showed who was the boss. It's slightly out of character for Rubinstein to have said that, so it's not completely clear if it was really, if it, things really happened this way. Another explanation is that before the game, both players already had agreed a draw, and that when Wolf offered it around the 10th move that Rubinstein played on, just because he thought it was too early for a draw to be agreed. And then he saw that he had this winning attack with rook h5 and, and thought, I can't play that because I agreed a draw. So he played a second rate move and then the game was drawn. But the first explanation is a lot nicer. So let's assume that is what happened. Hope you liked this anecdote. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and please comment if you want. This is Rick from Chess to Impress. Thank you for watching.